everyone welcome back to my channel it's Lila here today I want to talk about some tips on taking care of acne prone skin to tell you about my skin background first I have been going through skin breakouts starting from my late teens and it got worse in my early 20s so I had to see my dermatologist about once a week to get my medicines prescribed and get some laser treatments done to kill the sebaceous glands and even though I put so much effort and also money to get rid of those acne a couple of years ago my skin got down to the worst condition ever my chin area and this jawline was covered with acne and I thought to myself do I have to live like this forever? because it seemed so endless. I didn't want to go outside my house, sometimes even my room. I didn't want to meet anyone. I didn't even want to go to work. I had a lot of shootings at that time, but uh, I thought like everyone was looking at my face, even they weren't. So that is the purpose of making this video because I understand how much one person can become so insecure and so self-conscious just because of a skin issue. I mean, it, it can seem like nothing to some people, but it can mean everything to some people. I know that feeling because I have been there and I still have acne prone skin. It's just in my genes, so I have to live with it, deal with it. But now I know how to take a good care of my skin when my skin breaks out that makes a total difference. Today, I am going to tell you five points on taking care of acne prone skin. I hope you can find this video helpful for you. And let's start. Number one, it is very important to know the cause of your acne. It could be the ingredients in your skincare products or even your shampoo that is not suitable for your skin type. The ingredients might be comedogenic, which means it can clog your pores, or you might be skipping your moisturizers too much, which can lead to more sebum production. Or it can be your lifestyle habit, lack of sleep, too much greasy or sweet food, or too much stress. And also it can be the internal problems like hormones or gut health. You need to know the specific cause of your acne to come up with a fundamental solution to solve that problem in order to save time, energy, and money. Well, in my case, I think I had all the problems I just mentioned, so I had to make a long-term plan. Now I want to talk about choosing appropriate skincare products for acne-prone skin. First of all, exfoliation is very important. It takes 28 days for healthy skin to get rid of dead skin cells, but when those dead skin cells are not properly exfoliated at the right time, then those meet dust, dirt, sweat, excess oil, then it provides the perfect condition for bacteria to grow, and then it becomes skin inflammation. So we need to know what products to use for exfoliation. I prefer chemical exfoliation products to physical exfoliation products because it is safer to my skin. I had to go through a lot of irritation when I was using physical exfoliation products because those scrub grains were too harsh for my skin. So I want to show you this Pola Choice products that I use regularly. I highly recommend chemical exfoliation including AHA and BHA. AHA refers to alpha hydroxy acid and it mainly contains glycolic acid and lactic acid. And it's water soluble so it exfoliates the dead cells at the outer layer of your skin. So this product I'm using is 8% AHA. It's transparent gel type. The percentage of AHA in this product may be high, so I recommend you to use only one to three times a week. And there's also BHA. BHA refers to beta hydroxy acid, and it is mainly salicylic acid. It's fat soluble component, so it goes deep down to the pores, so it gets rid of those sebum and blackheads. These two products are also from Pola Choice, but the percentage of BHA is different. 
so you can choose between these two. Since excess exfoliation can irritate the skin barrier, using once or twice a week is enough, and do not forget to moisturize your skin after exfoliation. And speaking of moisturizing, I highly recommend you to add oil products in your skincare routine. You might think that oil is something to get rid of, not to add on to your skin, but your skin needs to maintain its ideal ratio of moisture and oil. And in order to do that, you need to nourish your skin with the right amount of oil. If your skin is over dry, then it produces more sebum, which makes those greasy oil and sticky oil that clog your pores. I once mentioned those in my nighttime skincare routine, so if you haven't watched it yet, please click on that card above. Lightweight oil like hemp seed oil, rosehip oil can be beneficial for your skin. I usually mix one drop of hemp seed oil or tamanu oil with my moisturizer and apply on my face. Tamanu oil is a bit heavier, but it's good for removing acne scars and regenerating skin cells. Also, you can use oil that has specific functions like tea tree oil, it has anti-inflammatory components, or carrot seed oil, which is abundant in vitamin A that can be helpful for treating acne. But these two are essential oil that have to be used with career oil, so be careful not to apply the essential oil directly onto your skin. There are some spot treatment products I want to share with you guys. My dermatologist once prescribed me Differin Gel, which contains retinol, but it was too irritating to my skin so I stopped using it and then I also tried benzoyl peroxide spot treatment but it did not work for me. I felt so itchy and my face swell like a red balloon so instead of using those strong spot treatments I use these products. Especially this blemish solution from Clinique is very effective in sizing down the acne and this white powder from Alive Lab contains Centella asiatica, which is good for calming the irritated skin. Okay, number three is finding appropriate supplements. These are two supplements that I take regularly on a daily basis. One soft gel of 1000 mg omega-3 and one capsule of 500 mg of pantothenic acid, also known as vitamin B5. Two years ago, when I was suffering from severe acne, especially on my jawline, I took 2000 mg of omega-3 and two to three capsules of pantothenic pantothenic acid. Omega-3 has anti-inflammatory components and pantothenic acid is good for controlling excessive sebum production. Two years ago, I also took two bottles of Vitex Chaseberry Extract from Blue Bonnet and one bottle of Cruciferous Vegetable Extract from Life Extension. The supplement from Life Extension is also known to be as DIM, extracted from natural ingredients. I added those two supplements to my daily routine because I wanted to get rid of acne around my chin area, which is known to be caused from hormone imbalance. These days, since I got over those hormonal problems, I only take probiotics, omega-3, vitamin B5, C, and D. Next, I want to put an emphasis on having healthy habits in your everyday life. Consuming lots of greens, full of antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, and fiber. Having enough sleep, drinking enough water, and oh, this is so important. Disinfecting the surface of your cell phone with an alcohol pad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to do this. And also changing the covers of your pillows regularly. There are so many things that we have to keep in mind. Last but not least, don't give yourself too much stress or pressure. This has to be a long-term plan, so we all need to be patient here. And believe that this shall pass too. I know it can be intense, so stressful, so depressing, but this shall pass too. And don't lose confidence in yourself and take care of yourself with tenderness, love, and patience. And it will work out. I hope you can find this video helpful for you. Thank you for watching.